Hey everyone, it's Lynn. How are you today? I'm doing pretty well and I hope you are too. So today I'm going to go over a little bit of a haul that I got at the Dollar Tree yesterday. Nothing really big, just a few little odds and ends that I got as a last minute shopping spree before Christmas, which is holy cow, like five days away. Can you believe it? Um, it was like super crowded. I didn't really want to look through a whole lot of stuff. I just wanted to get in and get out. So I just got a few things. Um, but what I did find was pretty interesting. I feel like I got Halloween and Easter and Christmas all in one trip. So let's start with number one. Number one was like totally unusual. I can't even believe that they had this at the Dollar Tree. It was Walter Potter's uh, Taxidermy book, The, the Curious world of, world of Taxidermy. I've seen a bunch of their uh, pictures, the pictures that they take of the animals. Like he sets them up in like different outfits and settings and stuff like that. And I've seen them online and I thought, wow, this is an interesting book to be there. Um, but it just goes over some information about Walter Potter. It goes over some of the scenes, like famous scenes that he did. Um, So for a dollar, I thought that was a great deal, considering the retail value was $22.95. So awesome addition to my library. I love books, even unusual ones. So in that same section, I found a Lisa Frank puzzle. My neighbor is has a little girl, and I'm going to give this to her for Christmas in addition to like one or two other little things that I got her. Um, but I thought this was a great thing. They have all for like an entire week between the Christmas and New Year holiday. And this will be something to keep her brain active while they're not at school. And it's, it's cat and it's got all kinds of pretty colors. So I would do it if I was a kid. I would do it even if I'm not a kid. My daughter and I do puzzles sometimes. All right, in, still in the book section slash puzzle section, um, there's actually a craft section in the one that I, I go to that had some pastel colored uh, glitter paints. This reminded me of Easter. So the pink, the, this is actually an orange, it's not a red, and then a, like a seafoam green. And I can imagine using these during Easter to do different crafts with my, my kids. So there's that holiday covered <laughs> at the beginning of it anyway. Um, the next section I went into was the baby section um, because my neighbor has a little boy and he is just about at that age where I think he's gonna get teeth soon. He's been drooling up a storm. So I picked up this little ice cream teether this part, when it freezes, is supposed to be really soothing on their gums. I used to get things like this for my children when they were teething too, and they are just like a lifesaver. And I like this one because the handle, I think, is not going to be as cold. They, they make different ones that have like this blue plastic liquid filled stuff, but it's just a whole ring of just that. And I feel like it's too cold on baby's hands. So having a plastic handle that's not going to stay super duper cold while they're using it is a great option. And then my daughter picked out this cute little um, Christmas doggy for him. The scarf is sewn on, so it's not a choking hazard. But with the bright colors and, and the stuffed animal, I think that'll be something to stimulate him and I think he'll like it. But baby doesn't like stuffed animals. Also in that section, I was really, really surprised that I found that they had these Lanosh nursing pads. Um, I remember when I was nursing my, my kids, like those things were so expensive. So to see those at the Dollar Tree, that's awesome. Good job, Dollar Tree, for getting that one. All right. Um, next, I went into the food section and I found this Boom Chicka Pow sea salt popcorn. And I've had this in the, reg the regular grocery store carries it. I haven't seen it at Dollar Tree before. 
and I was happy to find it. It's a nice little snack. And for that whole bag, it's only 170 calories, which is really great. It's great for portion control. Um, I found the Stella Cherry Cordials. This would be a really nice stocking stuffer. It's only got three of them in there, so just a nice little snack. Next thing I found in the freezer section of my Dollar Tree is the Cinnabon Gooey Bites. And I was really surprised to find these because Cinnabon's like not something that I think of being at Dollar Tree. They're like more expensive when you go to the mall and stuff like that to get them. Um, but I bought one for myself, one for my father who also really likes them. And I'm hoping that they are at least close to what, the, what you get when you go to the Cinnabon store. All right, three more things. Um, I bought a shower cap for my daughter. She picked this one out. She liked the pattern. She has to use a special shampoo and oil for the next couple of weeks um, for a dry scalp. So while she, uh, she has to leave the oil in overnight and they recommended to get a shower cap so it doesn't stain her pillow or get all over her skin. So fingers crossed that she likes this. I actually went over to AC Moore previously and got her this instead because I thought it would be, you know, super fun, but she didn't think so. It's too tight on her, on her head, she says. This cute little panda, so hopefully they'll take it back. All right, last two items. Um, I picked up a little bag of soft uh, Nine Lives kitty cat treats. My cat knows when Santa Claus comes for the children, so she likes to be up in the tree and hanging out, and so I thought that she would enjoy a treat also. So there they are. And I got a, a dog bone for my, my dog too, but uh, I didn't get that at Dollar Tree. But they really get into Christmas just like the kids do. They get excited. It's like all the activity, I guess. All right, and then my last item that I found was this Sinful Color Luxe Limited Edition, uh, what do they call it? Fragments nail polish. And this I thought of as Halloween. It has this green and black and silver color. And I thought this would be wonderful. And here is what it looks like. Just this nice color. So I'm sure I'll try it before Halloween, but this will definitely be a Halloween color for me. So, and that concludes it. Like I said, just a little haul, just a little bit of something. I needed to get a couple of items to give for gifts. I needed a couple of items just for daily function and a couple of things that I thought were interesting, like the book and the paints. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you on the next video. Peace.